Now Elizabeth came to full term and brought forth a son, and there was great joy and gladness in her house. Her family and her neighbors, hearing how the Lord had shown her compassion, rejoiced along with her. So on the eighth day they came to circumcise him, intending to name him after his father Zechariah. Not so, his mother insisted. His name is supposed to be John. There is no one in your family with this name, they protested. Elizabeth therefore said to them, Ask his father what his name should be. Now when Zechariah came out of the temple, they gestured to him, Tell us what you'd have us name him. And he motioned for a tablet to write on, and wrote out, His name is John. And none of them could believe these words. All of a sudden, he could open up his mouth, and his tongue was free to speak. Zechariah therefore praised the Lord, and urged them all to glorify him morning and evening. Everyone grew fearful, and the news of these things spread throughout the hills of Judea. Now because the hand of the Lord was upon him, all who heard it took these things to heart, and they asked, What is this child destined to become? And filled with the Holy Spirit, his father Zechariah, mindful of the gift he had received from God, prophesied concerning his son John the Baptist. Praise the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has come and freed his people and lifted up a horn of salvation for those of us of the house of his servant David, even as he had foretold in ancient times by the mouth of his holy prophets, deliverance from our enemies and from the grasp of those who hate us, to show forbearance to our predecessors and call to mind the holiness of the promise, the solemn pledge that he made to our father Abraham, to grant that we be saved from the clutches of our enemies, and to serve him without fear, in purity and virtue, in his sight, every day of our lives. Yes, child, and you will be known as the prophet of the Most High, since you will go ahead of him to clear his way, to give knowledge for the deliverance of his people, in his pardoning of their sins. For tender is the mercy of our God, which is why he will look upon us from above as the dawn breaks forth. And even now that day is dawning, to shine on those who live in darkness, underneath the shadow of death, to guide our steps on the road to peace. At that time John was living in prosperity, and for two years he nursed at the breast of his mother. The joy of God was on his face, and he grew up strengthened in the spirit.